It's always big when these two schools get together. Even bigger than usual this time around. They started playing in 1898. Michigan leads the all-time series comfortably. And the common denominator in the last four decades has been the team that has rushed for the most yards has won the game. It's 42 out of the last 45 games. Had a little snow flurry activity early this morning. Connor Cook from his own two fires and gets them out of the hole immediately with the catch by Aaron Burbridge. Great job but right there by Cook getting the ball out on time and doing it with the receiver had not broke from his route. Just a four man rush and Cook with plenty of time and another good catch for a first down. Aaron Burbridge again with Jordan Lewis once again in coverage. Well it starts with the protection and they've had so many different line combinations right now these guys are handling the pressure of what Michigan is bringing and Burbridge does a really good job of going up and attacking that football you'll see that throughout the day and I'm sure Michigan State fans know when the ball's in the air he's not waiting for it to get to him he goes up and attacks it. They spread the field on second and ten Hook throws open receiver R.J. Shelton. Down to the Michigan 42 yard line. Looks like Jabril Peppers is going to get turned around, number five. As RJ Selton runs a little switch route, there's a nice little pick by Burbridge if they're man to man like that. Michigan defense has given Michigan State a first down. And a reverse. Aaron Burbridge with running room. And he's run down by Chris Wormley, a defensive end, but very near another first down. What a drive this is for the Spartans. That's akin to throwing the ball on first down. Any type of razzle dazzle. And they use Shelton and Burbridge for their outside running game in a double reverse, which they have not shown on film. Off the jet sweep look. Drive of eight minutes now from their own two. Cook throws and it's batted down by Jordan Lewis. They're going for it on fourth and eight. They're in field goal range, but they've had a lot of problems. On special teams, including in field goals. High snap, a blitz from Michigan. Cook throws in a single coverage way out of bounds. And after 16 plays, Michigan State turns it over on downs. These are two teams that like to possess the football. Michigan has had the time of possession edge in every game so far this year. Busting through the middle. Sione Homa, the fullback. Across midfield and down they'll spot him down at the 45 yard line of Michigan State the true freshman safety Grayson Miller might have saved the touchdown. That's when Harbaugh says hey guess what we're going to put in a fullback trap at the first day of spring practice Michigan State didn't think about it quick hitter by Homa who burst through the hole excellent kick out block by the pulling guard Homa's getting a lot of play. Jake Rudolph. Dumps it off, complete. A.J. Williams, the tight end. Marked out of bounds at the 23-yard line. It's a good job of A.J. Williams being patient coming across, and everybody loses coverage because they're playing man. When you lose big A.J. Williams sneaking across the field, the results are first down. Ron Higdon, the running back now, true freshman from Sarasota. Rudock the play fake to him throws on the run open receiver and a first down. J.U. Chesson his first catch first by a wide receiver for Michigan today good for 11 yards. It's a good job by J.U. Chesson settling down finding the open space and Rudock able to throw across his body accurately Todd yeah, and Rudock hanging in there. We've seen a lot more patience poise and confidence out of him in the last few games he's finally starting to get this offense he knows where receivers are going to pop open and that was a great example right there well his receivers and Jake are starting to see the same thing which they did not do earlier on when we were here against Good BYU point. first and goal from the eight Davion Smith breaks tackles and pulls his way down to the two yard line Arjun Colhoun chopped him down for Michigan State. Leone Homa down to the goal line in for a touchdown. Running a fullback dive from that far off is a symbol to his team 
and to the players in the Jim Harbaugh that we're going to win the physical battle and we're going to prove it to you. He flips it to Burbridge, who is buried behind the line of scrimmage. Royce Jenkins Stone, the Buck linebacker, has taken over for the injured Mario Ojemudia, who is their most dynamic pass rusher. Jim Harbaugh not pleased with John O'Neill. And Jenkins Stone's done a nice job since Ojemudia went out of the Maryland game with a torn Achilles. Well, he did a great job of playing off the chop block. Of the offensive tap or of excuse me Pendleton the fullback gets back on his feet then you see the pursuing Wolverines are there to seal the deal. Michigan State first and 10 of the 24 and a slant good for another first down to Aaron Burbridge. And for the first time in four games the opponent is in the red zone against Michigan 13 yard gain already six receptions for Burbridge senior from Farmington Hills Michigan. L.J. Scott finds a hole, finds the end zone. Touchdown, Spartans. And a big turn of events. Michigan State has tied it. And a controversial call has set Michigan's leading tackler out for the rest of the game. Peppers, as you see, still on the field with the offense. They flip it to him. Rudock dead. Jabril Peppers down the sideline and shoved out inside the five. Sometimes value is off what you do. Davion Smith is going to get the key block to spring Peppers on a jet sweep. It Team was, defense. We saw earlier, Chris, two timeouts called when Peppers was on the field. I just watched the defensive back, starting with Arjun Colhoun, talking to all the other DBs, saying, watch the double pass, watch the double pass. I'd sneak it here. Well, you just said you'd bet on Davion Smith. Yeah. Well, they bet on Sione Homa, and he gets stuffed for the moment. Well, you, how long will they give him? They're already blowing the whistle. You wonder about forward progress being stopped. Whoa, they weren't blowing the whistles. They were running in to mark it. But they never blew the whistle. Looked like the officials were running in to spot the ball down, and Mark D'Antonio's wondering about that. And this is the anniversary of the Bush push. And Davion Smith. The forward progress is stopped. Yeah. Right there. That ball should be whistled dead. From the sideline that they were stopping the play, and they weren't apparently. After further review, the ruling on the field of touchdown stand. And the third time is a charm. Connor Cook, design roll, has some running room, instead throws. Is that a catch at the 32 yard line? No, out of bounds. Intended for RJ Shelton. Cook had a lot of running room along the near sideline. Well, it's a good job. Ooh. It's close. I don't know if his toe was on the sidelines or not. R.J. Shelton working back to the football. Mm. That left foot is in bounds in toe, and it should be a catch. The pass was completed at the sideline at the 32-yard line. For the first and ten at the 32-yard line on the right half. We'll start and they're ready for play. As Mark D'Antonio says, every week we found a way to win, and that's the bottom line. Find a way to win. Cook the pump fake. Has the man open. Touchdown, Michigan State. McGarrett Kings. An outstanding patience. Here's the double move. Just a little post corner route. Clark jumps it. Connor Cook delivers a strike, Todd. Yeah, he dropped it right in there. Perfect spot in the ball. Perfect timing. The second he saw that cornerback take just a tiny bit of a false step, that ball was out. He'll take a sack. Michigan State brings pressure and a wide open receiver. J.U. Chesson wrestled across the boundary by Demetrius Cox at the three yard line. It'll be fourth down and goal from the three. Kenny Allen, tough angle for a short field goal from the right hash mark. 21 yarder. He's one for one today. 
And it is right down the middle. Jabril Peppers in the slot down here to your screen. And they throw it to Peppers in space. And he's going to be stopped about two yards short of the first down. Kari Willis, Chris Fry at the bottom of the pile with help from Monte Nicholson. And at least it makes it a shorter field goal for Kenny Allen. No hesitation from Jim Harbaugh. Beginning of the year, as we mentioned earlier, the field goal kicking was a big concern, but Harbaugh raved yesterday about the entire unit has done, especially Allen, who's two for two today, nine out of 11 for the season. This is a 38 yard try. He's made his last five, he's made his last six. And it's a two score game, a nine point lead for Michigan with 9.25 to go. I think Mark uses that as the building that chip on his shoulder. Couple of fakes in the run game, and Cook has a wide open receiver. Trevin Pendleton, the fullback, off to the races inside the 20. Batted down from behind, but he's in for a touchdown. 75 yards for the fullback, Trevin Pendleton. Delano Hill tried to pop the ball out and knocked him down, and let's make sure this was a touchdown. It's never a sure thing today. Touch yes. Absolutely a touchdown. Delano Hill did a good job of tracking down. That's the good news. The bad news, that was his man. That really is under further review. And the eighth replay stoppage. Further review. The runner was tackled short of the goal line. Okay, so much Ball be placed at the half yard line. First and goal on the right hash. The clock will start and we're ready for play. I see different things today. It's not honest. I'm not, I'm not melting with the refs. No. They take the touchdown away and it doesn't matter. Except the cost for a couple of seconds. LJ Scott the touchdown. Of course, it's pending the review. First and five opens up. A lot of options in this playbook. Four man rush. Cook running out of time. Spins away and then goes down. And his ability to stay on his feet hurt him as he lost additional yardage. Willie Henry, the first pressure, and then Ryan Glasgow finished him off. Make amends, Willie. Right there, coming off the top as the inside tackle. They run a little stunt. They lose him on a stunt, Todd. And he's able to knock him enough off balance. Spartans from their own 23. 410 to go. Here comes the rush again. Cook floats one. Todd! Burbridge again. Lewis on him again. First down, Michigan State. 48 yard line. I've got no complaints with Lewis. And Burbridge makes a great play. But an even better throw. And every time he's hit Burbridge on the fade, he's always thrown it to the back shoulder, which is the perfect placement where his guy gets it or nobody gets it. As they did at crunch time against Rutgers last week. Wolverines rush only three. Still put heat on Cook, who got it off close to a first down. The catch made by Josiah Price, the tight end. At the 43, it'll be third down and one. Michigan State 50% for the year on third down, just two out of ten today against the best third down defense in the country. Michigan blitzes. And it's a first down. Gerald Holmes struggles to the 36. But got there. Matthew Godin, the tackle. It might come down to him. 2-10 to go. Cook in trouble and hangs on but goes down back at the 45. Willie Henry and Royce Jenkins Stone get to the quarterback. Well, again, this time it's just Willie Henry who beats Brian Allen on a quick sm uh, swim move. Brian Allen ducks his head. When you duck your head, it's like man to man coverage. You're going to lose your guy who you're responsible for. Really, only Henry. Jenkins Stone went up there for the celebration. Michigan State going into about a 10 mile per hour breeze. Three man rush again. Cook throws and it's batted away. Lewis wins that battle with Burbridge.
Burbridge does a really good job of being exactly where Cook expects him to be. Goes up and attacks the ball. Problem is, Lewis, the cornerback, once again has his hands exactly where they're supposed to be. Could be the biggest play of the season for these two teams. Three man rush, and Henry gets pressure again. Cook had to scramble, just lofts it up, and it is batted down. Channing Stribling and DeMonte Thomas. They're trying to get it to Kings. Michigan State 0 for 4 on fourth down. Well, exactly what we thought Willie Henry is beating him with speed off the edge. Forces Connor Cook to run. Then you see Maurice Hurst coming in to finish him off. Great angles by the Michigan secondary to knock that away, uh, down by Thomas and Stribling. Execution under pressure by the Wolverines. And, and he was actually open. He had the receiver open early on. It's just that the pressure took away his ability, Cook's ability to step into his throw and drive it down the field. Is the belief among many recruits that Michigan State Michigan rather was down and not showing signs of getting back up. And today was don't you think for a lot of people around the country the, the test no, no offense to BYU and Northwestern they were both ranked teams. It still remains to be seen as the year goes along how good they are. There's no doubt Michigan State is an outstanding team. It has been for a long time. O'Neill's been terrific with the rugby style punts. But you have to be careful here. Make sure the snaps on target. But you can't allow a block and I. There's nobody back deep for Michigan yep. State. I was going to say you might want to kick it out of bounds to prevent a return but with nobody back there just kick it down the field. Tell your punter to one step it. Don't take your normal steps. One step it. Get it out. Whoa! Well, he has trouble with the snap and the ball is free. It's picked up by Michigan State. Jalen wants Jackson and he scores. Michigan State is still the big boy on the block in the state of Michigan. A shocking ending to this rivalry game. And just when it looked like Michigan had made a number of statements regarding what's going on in the state, the Big Ten race, its position nationally, this happens. Mark D'Antonio said the only important thing is to win. We haven't been winning pretty, but we keep finding a way to win. Kings who had a couple of drops overcome with the emotion. And they found the most improbable way to win today. There's a couple of questions now on this play. Most notably, did he stay in bounds? Bounce right there. Good blocking downfield. No question about that. He's way in bounds. And did he score? Yes, he did. And the clock did expire. 38 yards O'Neill who's been terrific all season long in his first year at Michigan all he had to do was handle the snap and get it off and he could not well, it almost looked like Shawnee started his rugby style punt before he caught the football to secure it definitely a touchdown and thank goodness clearly across the goal line before his knee went down because I don't think anybody on either side would want to have to suffer through another replay review at the goal line. And, and I think another, you know, learning tool, another mistake that he made was tried to kick the ball, has a point to once he secured that football, just cut your losses right there because the only thing that Michigan State could have countered with would be the Hail Mary. Jalen Watts Jackson, backup defensive back, predominantly a special teams player, sophomore from Dearborn, Michigan. I'm sure there are a number of Spartan fans who had never heard of him. He is now a Michigan State legend and in the history books of this rivalry forever. What's up? Thank you so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. Don't forget to download the ESPN app. And if you want more premium content, which you do, make sure that you subscribe to ESPN Plus. See you soon.